Here's the thing about U.S.-Iran policy. Don't let anyone tell you they're easy solutions. We've had a long and complex relationship with the Iranian people and the Iranian government. The irony is, before 1980, Iran was a fairly close friend of the United States for a long, long time. But that year, there was an Islamic revolution led by Ayatollah Khomeini. The student revolutionaries took 52 American diplomats hostage and held them for 444 days. And since then, since 1980, 32 years ago, there have been no sustained discussions between our government and the Iranian government. We can't say that about anybody else in the world. We talked to the North Koreans, we talked to the Cubans, we talked to the Venezuelans. We've not talked on a sustained basis to the Iranians. Why is that important? Iran's a very powerful state. In the region of the world, that is arguably one of the two most important for us, the Middle East. Iran's been a thorn in our side in both the Afghan and Iraq wars. It's the leading funder and supporter of the terrorist groups that have been shooting at us, shooting at Israel, shooting at the moderate Palestinians and Arabs. And here's the big one. Iran is seeking, most people think, a nuclear weapons capability. So we've got this situation where Iran is presenting a really dangerous threat to what we perceive to be American interests in the Middle East, and yet there's absolutely no conversation between the two governments, which is a recipe for mistake and disaster and even warfare if we're not careful. So most people will say, what can we do about this? Some people say, well, because they're seeking a nuclear weapons capability, we ought to bomb Iran. There's a problem with that scenario, however. There's no military plan that I'm aware of where a strike on Iranian targets would actually resolve that problem. Because they're not actually building nuclear weapons right now. They're trying to enrich uranium and prepare themselves for this scientific process to achieve a nuclear capability. You can't bomb knowledge. And you probably can't bomb every university lab. So this military option, either by Israel or by the United States, it may slow the Iranians down. It actually doesn't resolve the problem. So that's exactly where we are right now. Do we strike at them? Or do we be a little bit patient and see if negotiations might work? I'm for negotiations. I was an American diplomat for 27 years. We need to believe in diplomacy. We got hit hard on 9-11. We responded by invading Afghanistan. I think that was the right decision. But we've been so martial that we've deployed the military as our primary instrument to try to deal with terrorists and bad people around the world. The military is one of the great institutions in our society. I mean, I admire them. But it's not always the answer to every problem we have. We also can rely on diplomacy. Now, what is diplomacy? It's using your intelligence. It's using your wits. It's outsmarting an evil regime like the Iranian government in Tehran. And I think what President Obama is trying to do, what President Bush was trying to do, and they rarely agree on anything, but they agree on this, pressuring them, sanctioning them, trying to get them to talk, ready to use force if we have to, but at a time of our choosing, not theirs. I think that's still the smartest policy for America.